This is uh, Pastor Tim coming from you from uh, Bend and Lomita United Methodist Churches uh, in Central Texas. Uh, we uh, want to talk about the Bible and because we figure there's a, a lack of knowledge about Bible teaching, about Bible stories, uh, the things that uh, used to be assumed in a generation, seven generations before, uh, cannot be assumed anymore. And so we're going to talk about uh, some of the things in the Bible, some of the people, some of the uh, books, uh, some of the events. Uh, right now we're talking about the parables. Uh, the parables are stories that Jesus told uh, to indicate what God was like and what the life was intended to be and what the uh, uh, kind of a window into heaven. And so uh, he told these stories, and really it's kind of a new art form uh, for uh, the teaching world. And we're going to talk about the, the parable of the talents. Uh, now this uh, talent is not a word for having talents, for being able to sing or draw or play the piano. Uh, this is a, a talent is a unit of money. Uh, and so... Uh, that's he's a servant a man is giving his servants uh, money to take care of uh, while he's gone on a trip so uh, let's, uh, let's begin the story by saying that uh, the man must have been a, a merchant or a diplomat it had be gone for months and months at a time maybe years and so the, there was no safe uh, to put your your money in there was uh, very few banks to be able to uh, uh, be sure of its security. And so he gave it to his servants, his, his uh, earthly possessions, uh, for them to manage. And so he has three servants he calls in. And the first one he gives five talents. Now a talent is a unit of money that consists of 15 years of wages for the average person. Uh, so a day laborer or a laborer in general. And so that would be somewhere in the, in the vicinity of a half a million dollars. And so the, he gives five talents. That means he gives him two and a half million dollars to take care of. This is astounding. Uh, we look to the parables at the part that uh, surprises us or oftentimes a point. Uh, and so the, the, the master is very generous and very trusting he doesn't give any instructions on how to what to do with it. Uh, they're up to their own ingenuity, their own creativity. Um, and to once the second servant, he gives two talents, a, a million dollars, and to the third one, he gives five hundred thousand, one talent. Uh, this is not a reason for uh, uh, envy of someone who has the more talents, because they're just being loaned those uh, for the time being. Uh, it, it, Part of the story that uh, comes to this point talks about the, the generosity of God who gives us life, who gives us uh, all that we can uh, possibly need uh, and then doesn't give a lot of specific instructions on what to do with it. Uh, he leaves it to our creativity, our use. Uh, he trusts us to, take, to use the, the earth uh, and, the, and the people resources that we have. So the man goes away and the first two servants invest their money wisely and take advantage of the knowledge they've gained maybe from their master and they double their money. The third servant uh, is fearful. And so he doesn't want to risk losing the money. So he takes it and hides it in the backyard. Now, this is not an unusual practice for the ancient world. That was a pretty... Uh, consistent way of hiding your money from uh, thieves or for invading armies. Uh, you took it and hide in the backyard, then only you knew uh, where it was buried. Uh, and so he buries the money in the backyard and then brings it out. And uh, to the first servant makes his report and the uh, master says, well done, good and faithful servant. Enter into the joy of your master. And then the second servant comes with his money and he uh, he says the same exact words. Now, you may, you may wonder, what happens if they didn't uh, do well in their investments? What if they uh, invested their money uh, and they didn't get the return, maybe even lost a little money? I think that uh, the master would have been still given that same uh, greeting because they took a chance. 
they took a risk uh, and used that which uh, which uh, they had been given for the, to try to to try to do the work of the master, uh, and so they entered into the joy of their master. The uh, third servant comes and said, "You are a, 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 a I was afraid of you uh, because you." Uh, are a hard man. That's not the picture of the master we have at all. He was generous and trusting with them. Uh, but fear had gotten the best of him. He projected an image onto the master and said, uh, you know, I was afraid, so here's your money back. So no harm, no foul. Here's everything you gave me. Uh, but the master doesn't take that approach. He said, you should have taken a risk. You should have done something with what you'd had. Uh, so, uh, uh, he ends up uh, being cast out because he's excluded himself from the, uh, from the joy, from the uh, relationship to the master. Now, this could be a, a story about actual money. We're given money to re that God gives us the ability to earn the talents and the opportunity, uh, and we're to, be, to spend it well to, for the sake of the kingdom. Uh, but it could also be about talents about the word that became talents for us uh, in the English language and say that you, you're given talents, abilities, opportunities, uh, intelligence, uh, all sorts of things to, uh, to be used in this world. But then I thought about uh, what is the greatest gift that God gives us? And God gives us uh, God's love. And so that's the, uh, the treasure, that's the, the talents that uh, God passes out and we're to invest those. Uh, we're to take that which love God's love God gives us and invest it in people. And even uh, in hard times, even if we don't get the, uh, the results that we want, I think that God gets a return on that investment in the kingdom. And so I think uh, what God is saying is that God loves us, that God forgives us, and we're to take that treasure uh, and invest it in the world. Uh, so... Uh, Let's see if we can't do that. All right, well, I'll see you next time.